Previously on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Dale. Dale. From Hollywood, it's Jimmy Kimmel Live. Tonight, here's Brosnan, Abby Ryder Fortson, and music from New West with Cleto and the Cletones. And now, Jimmy Kimmel. Well, it's a beautiful day here in Southern California on the planet Earth. I'll tell you something, I will never leave the planet Earth. A lot of people want to go into space, I do not. Would you ever go into space, Guillermo? No, Jimmy, no. no. <laughs> no but for those who do, and a lot of people do, a team of scientists from all over the world is making a case that as space tourism continues to grow, people will naturally start having sex in space, like Captain Kirk, and we have to start preparing for this. These findings are part of a research paper called Consideration of Uncontrolled Human Conception in Emerging Space Tourism. Hot title, right? I mean, <laughs> getting a little sexed up just saying it, I have to be, admit. It has nine authors, this title. Uh, nine very lonely authors worked on this together. <laughs> and all these people believe we could be buzzing our Aldrins together sometime in the next decade. The next decade, I checked today, there were seven people on the International Space Station right now. They've been on this st space station for months. If space sex hasn't happened already, it might happen tonight. It's about to happen. It's, <laughs> I'd imagine that sex in space is, is very comp... Like, how do you even tell who's on top? <laughs> Speaking of uncomfortable sex, today is Melania Trump's birthday. Happy birthday, Melania. It's, um, according to... America's number one news source, People Magazine. Her husband, Donald, was expected to take part in his wife's birthday festivities, quote, if his schedule allows. You know, he's very busy with the, with the yelling and the golf, and, uh, but he started the day uh, with a couple of posts about his rape trial that's going on right now. Such a romantic. Happy birthday, honey. It's, and for those of you who may be looking for ways to celebrate our former first lady's special day with your own families, well, this opportunity is only available for a limited time. Celebrate the accomplishments of an American icon. The Slovenian Postal Service brings you the Melania Trump Commemorative Stamp Collection. Relive the greatest moments of the most reluctant first lady in our nation's history, including looking to the left, looking to the right, wearing an insane coat, being best, shooting side-eye at Ivanka, dressing like a gangster from the future, and holding her breath. This commemorative set is perfect for collecting or mail-in confidential documents you find underneath the fresca machine at your husband's gold-plated Margaritaville abode. Act now and also receive the official Tiffany Trump Exists gold coin. When someone asks if Tiffany Trump exists, pull out this coin and they'll know. The Melania Trump commemorative stamp set. Never forget. Thank you. Well, you're welcome, man. What a great way to send a letter your husband in prison. We're still more than 18 months away from the next election, and Trump's already saying he might skip the debates in the primary because he doesn't want to subject himself to MAGA-hating anchors. I bet this is going to be like WrestleMania, where he says he's not going to be there, then in the middle of the debate, he runs out on the stage and hits Ron DeSantis over the head with a folding chair. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're getting more details on Tucker Carlson's banishment from Fox News. Rolling Stone and a number of other sources say Fox News has been keeping a file of dirt on Tucker, and they're prepared to release it in the event he goes after the network. This is apparently something they do over there. They collect compromising information about their employees in case they need to use it. But what could they have on Tucker Carlson that would embarrass him? Did he once try to buy a fuel-efficient car? I mean, <laughs> does he have a collection of paintings that weren't by Hitler? I don't know. What <laughs> Is it possible that they have pictures of him on a horse, French kissing Vladimir Putin? <laughs> Should we be concerned that they might know he dresses up as a drag queen and reads stories to kids? How do we know he doesn't have a browser history filled with microballs porn? 
mean, to quote Tucker, I'm not saying he did those things. I'm just asking questions. Why wouldn't we ask questions about things like that? <laughs> One secret weapon Fox News has that they could use to embarrass him is every episode of his show. That's for starters. Many people believe that his ouster is related to a pair of lawsuits filed by a former producer on his show. This woman, Abby Grossberg, says he ran a hostile workplace with male producers making misogynistic comments, anti-Semitic jokes, and even asking personal questions about fellow on-air hosts like Maria Bird or Romo. Within a few days, Sarah was called into Justin Wells' office with Alex McCaskill, who was a senior producer as well, and asked if Maria was having an affair with Kevin McCarthy. What? <laughs> he asked if Maria Bartiromo was having an affair with the Speaker of the House. Tell us more. I had been asked to spy on her by the Fox bosses and report back on what she was doing, which caused a lot of stress. And that was part of the reason I went to Tucker as well. I just physically and emotionally couldn't take it. And so you spied on Maria for your Fox bosses? Yes. Um, I not spied. I would tell them what she was doing if there were things that concerned me. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, that's spied, really, isn't it? Like, <laughs> wow, what a thing to put out there. Maria Bird, Romo, and Kevin McCarthy. When, I mean, I have no idea if there's anything to that, but I went back to their interviews, and there does seem to be a hint of chemistry. Joining me right now to weigh in is California Congressman House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, and it is great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us, Congressman. Thanks for having me back. Did you see that? That's, I mean, let's take a look back at that smile in slow motion here. You can see. Oh. <laughs> Hello there, sexy. Here's, here's another one. Check out this dramatic pause. Joining me right now is House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. Congressman, it's always a pleasure to see you. Thanks very much for joining me this morning. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Maria. You know, you know what I mean. Abby Grossberg says she has about 90 audio tapes, including a tape of Ted Cruz talking to Maria Bartiromo. Ted specifically detailed a plan to overturn the election in 2020 by creating a phony commission that could investigate claims of fraud. He was hoping Congress would refuse to certify on January 6th and leave the commission to pick the president of the United States. I'm sure Ted wanted to be one of the commissioners who picked, or at least one of the guys who picked the commission, which is insane. But Ted Cruz says, he, the tape, he says it's not a big deal. He said basically the same thing in public the next morning and then on the Senate floor a few days later which is a hell of an excuse. Well, what a sorry excuse for an American. Hey, Ted, next time you go to Cancun, stay in Cancun, okay? We <laughs> also learned that these tapes of Cruz plotting have been handed over to the special counsel, Jack Smith. I have to say, the only thing funnier than Donald Trump going to jail for trying to steal the election would be Ted Cruz going to jail for trying to steal the election for Donald Trump. That would be, I mean, that's a sitcom right there. You put them in a cell together. Meanwhile, George Santos, who seems to have been forgotten, made another goofy. Santos has been trying to claim he's Jewish for quite some time now. And uh, while if this doesn't convince you, he is, nothing will. Today I rise to honor the beginning of Yom HaTzmut, Israel's Independence Day. Oi, oi vey! I mean, <laughs> Guillermo speaks better Hebrew than George Santos. How do you pronounce that word he was trying to say, Guillermo? Uh... Uh, I'm not sure. You're not sure? Okay, well, <laughs> neither was he. Life is a lot more embarrassing now that everything is on tape. Tonight's clip for excellence in reporting, it goes to the team at Detroit's Fox 2 News. I want you to listen closely. You'll hear why they are the winners of this prestigious award. For organizations, the cost is a thousand bucks. Well, not since Napster have we seen a controversial debate over music like we're seeing in computer-generated songs. Yeah, we are talking about tunes that are crafted by artificial intelligence and featuring the likenesses of artists like Drake and Rihanna. And the AI is forcing music labels to question what's legal. There's a leak in the newsroom. All right, it's time now to go out in the street to meet some folks on Hollywood Boulevard to play couple or siblings. This is... Announcer Lou Wilson is out there. Hi, Lou. Hey, what's going on, Jimmy? Lou spent the whole day today rounding up pairs of people um, with the intention of tricking me, right? Very much so. I, I, these... 
They, you won't know. You just won't know. And yet somehow I always figure it out, right? I mean, you're good. You're good. So I worked extra hard today. All, all right. right. Well, let's see how you did. Let's bring in the candidates here. And our contestants are Stephanie and is that Aileen or Alan? How do I pronounce Alex. Alex. OK, where are you from? Uh, we're from Minnesota. Both from Minnesota, from the same town? Minneapolis, yeah. Uh-huh, OK. Um, let's see. What do you find most attractive about each other? Stephanie, you start. OK. Um, I think she's a really great person. Um, and she kind of balances out. She kind of balances out my craziness. OK. And, <laughs> and I, I like that she's really bold. I think a lot of times people always, you know, compliment her on her hair. And I really like her hair. and. She has a very unique style, and yeah, Alex, she's really what's, cool. What's the last fight you guys had? Um, <laughs> we argue frequently. I don't know specifically the last one. I think maybe one I had time to... I told her a couch that she liked was really ugly, and she got really upset with me. Yeah, <laughs> okay. and it was like a big fight. It was like, well, Stephanie, you don't understand. The leg room I on cried. this couch is really big, and I need this couch. And I was like, do you though? Yeah. You cried over the couch? I unfortunately yes. <laughs> OK, all right. I'm going to say your siblings. We are. We are. We are. Ah, there you go. You know what? Friends don't cry over a couch. Pretty good, right? What do we have for these sisters, Lou? We've got some pickleball paddles. Pickleball paddles, yeah. Take those out to the court and swat them at each other, all right? There you go. Thank you very much. Yes, all right. Let's meet another uh, couple or sibling, another pair, as we will call them. Uh, OK, hi, that's uh, Jamie, is that saying? Yeah, it's Jamie. Jamie and Nick. And Nick, yeah, yeah. Jamie and Nick. All right, Jamie and Nick are keeping their distance physically. <laughs> all right, so, all right. Uh, Jamie and Nick, where are you from? Uh, we're from Auckland in New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand. OK, do you have nicknames for each other? Uh, mm. Might not be appropriate. I call her. <laughs> no, no, we don't, we don't. You don't have nicknames for each other. When you're together, who controls the remote on the TV? Oh, it's definitely me. Okay. Yeah, wanted to. Uh, do you want to watch last night game show before you went to bed? Yeah. All right. You are a couple. I'm gonna say. No, we're not. You're we're not. Siblings. You're siblings. Yeah. They are siblings. You're in the hotel watching game shows together. <laughs> we're on holiday. Oh, all right. Yeah, wow. Your money. siblings on holiday, yeah. huh? Well, uh, we do have a gift for you. What do we have, Lou? We've got oh, a shit. tandem oh. bike. Oh. oh. Right. So good luck getting that home. Yeah, thanks, Jimmy. Yeah, You're yeah. fun. You're free. Right. Enjoy. Yeah. Oh, right. That thing will be stolen before you get to the end of the block. <laughs> All right, who's out there, Lou? Who, does, who do we have for a couple or sibling? Uh, some of my favorites. Oh, wow. Look at these two. Holy moly. Wow. You're, if you are siblings, your parents must be devastated. <laughs> oh, they are. Adolfo, where are you from? I am from San Luis Obispo, California. C Corey, you? Los Angeles, California. OK, yeah, hold that mic a little closer. You're, that little mustache is muffling your voice there. <laughs> All right, and what do you do for work, Corey? I manage hotels. And Adolfo, you? Uh, I'm a server at a steakhouse. A server at a steakhouse, OK. How long have you been doing that, Adolfo? I've been a server for over 15 years at the steakhouse itself, about six months now. What happens when somebody doesn't feel their steak is cooked enough or overcooked? They are going to take it out on me. And oh, then I have to go fix it in okay. the kitchen. And the kitchen does what? Says what? Uh, most of the time, they are pretty upset, and they think it's my fault. Hi, how you doing? Yeah. Um, <laughs> OK, Corey, let's see. Let me see you guys high five. OK. Aww. Huh, interesting. <laughs> I'm going to say you are siblings. <laughs> that would be incorrect, Jimmy. Oh, uh, man, I'm, I'm not doing well here. If you can't can believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold them, on I... a minute. Adolfo, does that little mustache tickle when you kiss? Uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> All right, Lou, go ahead and present them with their gifts. I've got some matching PJs for you. Yeah. Oh, matching PJs, how nice. All right, thank you, fellas. All right, well, let's do one more. Let's try one more couple or siblings. And we have who out there? Uh, OK, we've got Wade and Amy. Wade and Amy, how are you? Excellent. Fantastic. Where are you from? 
Indianapolis, Indiana. Mm-hmm. Both of you? Yes. You live together? Sometimes. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Um, let's see. What's the fav your favorite thing your mom cooks? My mom or both? <laughs> he got me. <laughs> I'm going to say you're a couple. <laughs> yes. That is correct. All right. Sorry, Amy, but you're, you did not hold up well under interrogation. <laughs> But we still have a prize for you. Lou, what do we have for this lovely couple? We have a hand-holding mitten. So you can put a hand in each side and continue to hold hands, even when it's cold. Wow, that's the probably the worst gift we've ever given out on this, this show. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, Wayne Amy. Thank you, Lou. That is siblings or couple. Put on back.